Well, good morning, everyone. It's uh, September 24th, 2020. And uh, this morning, I'd like to just enjoy the outside with you. And uh, well, it's the falls here now. So we had into the last days of uh, the warmer weather here, at least in this part of the world. But today I'd like to share with you um, regarding the beautiful uh, outside, Psalm 96. Psalm 96. Sing to the Lord a new song. Sing to the Lord, all the whole earth. Sing to the Lord and bless his name. Proclaim the good news of his salvation from day to day. Declare his glory among the nations and his wonders among all peoples. For great is the Lord and greatly to be praised. He is more to be feared than all gods. As for all the gods of the nations, they are but idols, but it is the Lord who made the heavens. O oh, the majesty and magnificence of his presence. O oh, the power and the splendor of his sanctuary. Ascribe to the Lord, you families of the peoples. Ascribe to the Lord honor and power. Ascribe to the Lord the, the honor due his name. Bring offerings and come into his courts. Worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Let the whole earth tremble before him. Tell it out among the nations, the Lord is king. He has made the world so firm that it cannot be moved. He will judge the peoples with equity. Let the heavens rejoice and let the earth be glad. Let the sea thunder and all that is in it. Let the field be joyful and all that is therein. Then shall all the trees of the wood shout for joy before the Lord when he comes, when he comes to judge the earth. He will judge the world with righteousness and the peoples with his truth. Just thought this morning with so many, so many things going on in the world that the psalm I wanted to choose today was just one that focused on God's power and the beauty of the world. Just that majesty and magnificence of God's presence. God's presence, especially in nature. You know, we in uh, this part of Canada won't have, uh, again, very long before we will be retreating back inside as the weather gets colder. So I think right now, as long as we have some nice days, go and enjoy it. Go and enjoy the uh, outside if you can, wherever you live. If, even, if you, even if you're in an apartment, there's, there's always something nearby that maybe you can go to, a walking trail or a little park, and enjoy outside. Worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Let the whole earth tremble before him. We can worship the Lord in so many ways, but it's also uh, just raises the spirit and, and the heart when we can go outside and enjoy nature, the colors that are starting to form on the trees right now, the flowers, the fall flowers that are in bloom. So go on out, enjoy some time, enjoy the world, and maybe sit quietly if you could find a quiet corner like my my spot here by by the trees in, in my yard and just listen to the birds enjoy the sun on your face and listen to for god listen that for god who, who who talks to us in those quiet whispers in the gentle breeze and again listen to the world all around take time to slow down in this time of uncertainty more than ever we just need those quiet moments of retreat let's just have a little prayer we worship you god of glory in the beauty of holiness and we joyfully proclaim your just and righteous rule established for all through your son jesus christ the lord amen 
great to have everyone with us with me this morning. I see uh, Diane. Hi, Diane and Mary Lou and others. Have a great day and a special uh, hello to uh, St. James Fenland Falls, the members of St. James Church and Christ Church Cobaconk, and my friends down at uh, St. Francis in the Valley in Green Valley, Arizona. Have a great day and we'll see you next week. Bye-bye.